Hello everyone, my name is Corazar, and welcome back to the Vintage Story Guide. We are back in the world on this rainy June day, and boy do I love how green everything looks. Speaking of green, last episode we started working on our backyard. We flattened everything out here, we dug a little well, and we planted around some little sort of flowery shrubbery things, and also some trees and we are still waiting for those to grow because it's only been about a day or so uh, 38 days yikes but it's been about a day since we finished up our work back here but speaking of finishing up work we are actually chewing through our goals here pretty well we have done a couple ugh, there we go let's see we finished the tea garden so we're going to we'll star that off i guess we did the backyard that one does need some more work with the backyard and trees there, but we did the trees too. So once the trees grow, we might come back and revisit that area and maybe plant some more of those shrubby flowery patches. Now today I wanted to skip ahead because I am in the mood for something dangerous and I want to work on progress toward at least one Jonas device. We might not get there today. There's no guarantee that we will find in the span of time that I have to spend playing today, there's no guarantee that we will find enough parts or the right parts for any of the Jonas devices. Those Jonas devices include things like the Rift Ward. This is one of them. This is probably the simplest one to make. And it's not my favorite. I would like to make one, I'd like to have one, but this is not like my absolute favorite one of the bunch. I think I would like to make the night vision goggles or the mask. I think this is the most interesting to me because that could facilitate adventuring with a shield and a sword and not having to juggle light sources all the time. So this one's kind of the most attractive to me. We do, of course, have either the base return teleporter or the terminus teleporter. Base return being a single use teleporter that will teleport you back to your current spawn location. And the terminus teleporter being a teleporter that will teleport you to the last location that you died. Now, this one's actually reusable. You just feed it a temporal gear, and bam, off you go. So, yeah, any one of those four, I think, are pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure that's all the different Jonas devices that there are. Sub-assemblies for... Oh, we could make a resonator, but I think that's kind of cheating because we already have two. So, this one doesn't count. We're not making resonator unless it's a very last resort if we only get the parts we need for the resonator in the span of a couple episodes then I guess that's what we'll do. But I want to avoid that if we can. So I am going to get ready for adventure. I'm going to get our steel armor, get some spare gear, because our pickaxe is running low. I probably won't worry about arrows too much because we tend to use the sword in the depths. And then I'll meet up with all of you when we're ready to go out on another adventure. And I did want to say that I did bring back all of our butterflies and things. I replaced the slanted display cases with the flat ones. And I did bring back the butterflies in creative mode using a couple screenshots and some of the video footage from previously because, because breaking these while the mod was broken it did not return me any butterflies. Anyway, I'll see all of you in just a minute when we are heading out on some dangerous and deep adventures. All right, folks, as promised, it has been just about a minute, and I think I'm ready for some adventure here. I'm bringing along just a bit of food for our first leg of the adventure. I am bringing along our usual plethora of armor and healing items and ladders and food and so on. And I've identified some caves I think could be worth exploring. Last episode when I was getting the sandstone gravel for our backyard here for doing this path, I did pass by a couple of big caves over here that we've not explored yet. And they're right next to home, so I thought they'd be a good place to start. If we don't find anything here, then we can head south through a transicator to a couple places. Let's see. I know that from our transicator here down to our luxury goods trader, as well as up to our salt mines, there are a number of caves that I've seen and know about that could be worth checking out. So we could move there next. Now, what are we looking for? Well, not just Jones devices. We are looking for those. That's our primary thing. And we'll find those from bells, from the sawblade locusts and from locust nests. We can break those down. Oh, I'm also going to go back and get my tuning spear just in case we meet another Bert and get a chance to befriend one. 
in addition to the locusts and their fruits of their um, mechanical bodies, we're also looking for things like coal and gold and silver. I'm not super interested in most other resources, things like copper or iron or bismuth. We have tons of that. We are swimming in most metals, but the rarer ones, the ones that we need for the dose devices, we are lacking in some capacity or another. And that's about it. So fuel, rare metals, and rare parts. That's pretty much all we are interested in. And are you part of the cave system? There's one there. There's also this guy here. So let's start with this one. We can maybe sort of check it off our list and then be done with it. I'm going to swap out for our replaceable ladders. And we're just going to, uh, yeah, we'll head on down. Oh, we have some quartz here. Do we have any gold or anything in or nearby? Just quartz. That's okay. So we get deeper. I'm going to trade our regular armor for our steel stuff. We will be quite slow. And I'm not really going to be worried about leaving a trail of torches because frankly, the more chances we have of softly locusts to spawn behind us, the better. But I will drop torches at places to indicate. Oh my. Yeah, I will light this up. I will drop torches to indicate places where we can leave from. This is big and spooky. We're not terribly deep, so this isn't a huge crazy place yet. Ooh, free money. Why not? We are also kind of on the lookout for treasure, but right now, since we are in familiar territory, we're not going to run into the new ruins. And it might actually be worth taking a break at some point and going over to an area with the new ruins in order to just experience more of them. Oh, hello. Our first customers, plural. Hey, guys. So I'm definitely seeing a thing where it looks like the cooldown on being struck is in fact inhibiting our ability to actually strike back. And that I feel is a bug, personally. It doesn't seem like that should be intended behavior because you could end up surrounded by drifters and be rendered completely unable to retaliate and defend yourself. And that just doesn't sit well with me from a game perspective. Dead end. Oh, we go across now. Hey, boys. Ooh, we do have some lead. That's pretty cool. I'll mark it. But again, I'm not here for lead. We do have tons of it. I don't think we need more. Oh, hey, what do we have here? We have a wee little ruin. Oh, that's cute. We've got a wooden bed. Oh, we got some vintage beef. Oh, we haven't seen that yet in the game. So this is, I think... I think this is a reference to, oh, someone who has vintage in their name. Vintage, might be vintage beef, actually. <laughs> I think it's their name. So I will take the bed. I will take the wood because we are basically always low on aged wood. Let's go ahead. I'm going to pick this up and ransack this place. And vintage beef is a treasure find. You'll never be able to make it yourself. You can only find it as treasure in ruins like this. It has no spoil timer, which makes it kind of valuable. It also heals you two hit points when eaten. So, yeah. Kind of a handy, little, neat little find. Okay. This place has been ransacked. Okay, so that wasn't a cross. Let's do all the up locations first, like this one over here. Just so we can say we cleared it out. Or does this go, like, somewhere bigger and deeper? Oh, boy. It does, doesn't it? Well, not that way. Yeah, this looks like it might come to an end here. Hey, all right, let's make our way up here next. And can I parkour up? I can. What do we have going on up here? A dead end, okay. That leaves, oh, we went across over here too. Ah, this leads to marble zone and another ruin, okay. What's down this way? Nothing yet. Oh, hey buddy. Nope. That's something that you're going to see now, 1.19. There was a bug in the game that prevented the player from getting a whole lot of knockback damage. Ah, oh, this loops around, okay. And 
Tyrant has fixed that bug, that means that you will be experiencing knockback damage. Now, the problem that I have with that is that the knockback damage isn't based on how much damage you take. It's based on the damage of the attack. Okay, neat. I'll come back for that in a second. It's based on the original damage rating of the attack itself. And that means that even if you mitigate damage, like, to a large extent, or even entirely, you can end up taking a lot of knockback and getting, like, thrown off of, say, a ledge. And I'm not a wild fan of that. I think that should be changed, at least somewhat. Let's grab... Let's grab the wood here. Sure, we'll take the bunny soil as well. And we'll take the skulls. Because I do have some room in a spare basket on my back for this kind of extra stuff. Plus, I'm a loot goblin. What can I say? Alright, friends. Where are you? Up over there. Oh, hello. Yep. Ah. Free money. Why not? It's that dead end. Okay. It's fine. I'm wondering if these two cave systems don't interact. Oh, hello. Yep, see, there's that big old... Oops, I said, put the lantern down. See, whenever they hit us, we are getting moved around quite a bit. Um, do you mind? There we go. There's a big old pop into the air. Okay, let's pop a torch here, just so we know this is our way up. Grab our lantern again. And let's make our way through here. To a dead end, immediately. Okay, cool. And to another immediate dead end. So that, I think, is the end of this cave. Interesting that this cave does not interact or intersect at all with the one over there. That is wild. They must just rub shoulders and that's it. Well, let's get out of here. Oh, hey, buddy. No, please, no. Knock it off. And our way out is this way. So away we go. Okay, well, this cave explored. We can come back and maybe peer with it over later. But I think for now, let's go ahead and dive in here. That might be a literal thing, too. Look at this. This is a wacky one. Any safe ways down? Let's make a little path down here. By path, I mean drop a ladder. Hey, boys. Okay. That's pretty well cleaned up. Let's take a peek down this tunnel first. Anything here? Ooh. Okay, that kind of branches out quite a bit. And it goes down. Do you branch out and meet back? Oop, hello. Okay, so it doesn't look like it wraps around immediately back to here. So, yeah, let's cover that one first, and then we'll head down the other direction. Hello, friendo. Now I'm good. Come on. Come on. Missed me. And we have mostly vertical shafts. Great. Well, let's hit the first one first, or maybe even just... Drop the ladder here and see what is either direction. Okay. Huh? More friends. Naturally. I think the animation for being hurt is getting in the way of being able to retaliate while being hit. My, this is a crazy cave, isn't it? Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know that we're going to get to explore all of this one. What is this nonsense? Do you guys see that down there? That's a big ruin. Let's go down and check it out. Why not? Let's drop a ladder. I think we can just parkour our way back up here. Except for right here, so we'll just do that. So what have we here? We have a, <laughs> a rough entryway here. Oh, no way! I thought this was going to be one of the big ruins with, like, a big central pillar and everything, but no, we have a Biff Transicator in our little area here. Wow. That's, that's getting a little nutty. Okay. That is getting a little crazy. All right. Well, anything worthwhile here? Some money. We have painting. A painting we have a million of. Oh, I can't put it back. Darn it. <laughs> we already have a mask. Hummingbird mask. 
we'll leave that. What's in you? A cylinder, some aged wood. We already have a bit of that. We'll take that, take the sticks, why not? This is just full of stuff. And a beanade! The best weapon in the game. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and mark it. I don't know if we'll come back and fix it up, but... Well, let's keep going over here. Oh, I should probably mark it on the map first. <laughs> yeah, silly me. There we go. So if we want to, we can come back and fill that in later. But at the moment, I don't feel the need to. This just spins back around. Okay. Hippity hop back out of here. That was pretty cool. No, thank you. Yeah, that uh, new or renewed knockback is a real threat. Like drifters dealing damage? Yeah, okay, whatever. No, the fall damage will kill you. We came from somewhere over there, I think. But let's go this way. What's down here? I'm a little surprised we haven't come across any more locust nests because usually I find them to be a bit more common than we have experienced thus far. This is all a big loop. Okay, that makes that a little bit easier to handle. Let's down this way as we sprint ever so slowly in our heavy armor. We have a dead end here. And then we have this weirdness right here. Just tear you guys out entirely. More dead end, okay. Well, I think the only way to go from here is down, because there were some places we haven't been farther down just yet. So let's go back through here and check out what's down this way. That's where we came from. So we're gonna go over here, I believe. I mean, do we want to? Mm, not so sure about that. Should we? Possibly. Will it kill us? I don't know. We're pretty well armored. Ooh! Yes! Oh, we do have a nest here or something. Oh, that's great news. That's great news. Oh, man. Yeah, whatever, guys. Wait, why am I doing this? I can make a friend. Oops. Or I can break a friend. Nope, no friends for me. So what do we have here? We have like a little... Oh, is there like a nest in here somewhere? Scared of you. <laughs> One cage. Anything worthwhile in here? I don't know, I guess we'll find out in a minute. Nope. Nope. No friends. So that was a locust cage. I don't see anything interesting as having dropped from it yet. Let's see. Rope. Metal scraps. Nothing. Okay. Well, that's a shame. I thought we were supposed to get donut parts from the cages, but I guess not. That was all that was here. Okay. Well, I realized I was just complaining about not finding locust nests. I'm not sure I'd really call that one a great success. But, uh, yeah, that was all that was ever here. As I recall, there was one more place to go down over this way, wasn't there? Or was it like a dead end and we were like, eh. Oh, hi. Hello. So here's where we came down originally. We I came down from over there. We Did we check the one out over here? I think there was a big old pit. That goes back the way we came. Uh, hello, buddy. And we have been here, so I think that was it for this cave, too. That's pretty wild. Kind of small. I think we went up there, too. Yeah, because it all loops around in one, one big circle here. Okay. Well, that seems to be it for this cave. I don't think I missed anything. Or was there a down over here that we didn't do? No, that's where we just were. Was the one farther back here? Nope, this is the entrance again. You guys. Ah, uh, you guys are nutty. Okay, well, that's two caves knocked out. Not too bad. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I don't need what you don't have. Well, I'm gonna run home. I'm going to empty your inventory. Ah, uh, that's where we're getting so many friends. Oh, uh, we're in the... <laughs> Whoopsie. We're in the rift right then. Okay. But yeah, I'm gonna run home. I'm gonna empty your inventory. I'm going to... Refresh our food supplies, and I think we're good on tools and torches and things. So, in the morning, we'll set out for, let's see, let's go, you know what, let's go through our transicator over here, and that will take us up here, 
And then we can maybe look around, maybe starting out here, we can look for some more caves to go down. And that way we might be able to find not just locust nests, but also the new ruins. And we might find more Jonas devices in, or Jonas parts, in those new ruins. So then we already found one set of planetary gears, so that might be worth our while. No Jonas parts so far, but see you all in the morning, and let's hope we can find something. I'll see all of you once we're over there and ready to delve into our first cave. All right, folks, as promised, it is the first cave system I found on our way back out in this direction. Anyway, there seem to be three different ways to go here, so I think we should go ahead and dive in. And I'm going to go across this way first. Oh, hello, money. And let's see what there is to see here. Trouble. Yes, okay, dead end here. Turn a corner and trouble. Uh, oh, well, that's, that's nice. <laughs> I think this is just the bottom of that same cave, isn't it? I think so, but there's a down over here, too. Yeah, I think that's where we went across. Yep, okay, so. Well, <laughs> that was fast. Let's head down here instead and see what there is to be seen. Get our big armor on. Get our shield out. What is this? Have we been here before? <laughs> We have, we have, but, okay, so this is where, this is weird. Okay, so we came down here originally. Yeah, okay, we've been here before, but I don't remember seeing this part of the cave. I remember we came down and then up, and then we explored over this way and found those two ruins. So, I guess we can go down here then. All right, that works. Dead end over here. That works too. I hope this doesn't just loop around into the same places we've already explored, but I guess we'll find out. Ooh, we have saltpeter galore. Okay. And nothing else there. Drop a torch here just so we know where the exit is. And let's just go under here. Dead end. Ooh, wow. Okay, wow. Sudden light. All right. I know what to do here. Let's get our friend maker out. Friend. 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 Who will be the best friend? That's what we need to know. Who will become my best friend? Hmm? Who shall be the new Bert? Up, oh, the Berts are attacking each other. Are you a new Bert? No. All the new Berts have been fried. Oh, new Bert. That's right. <laughs> Hi, Newbert. All right, what do we got here? So, here's a second chance to maybe get some Jonas parts. I don't think these smaller locust nests give us anything. I think it's just the big, sort of heavily cloth-covered ones. Oh, man. That was a long one. <gasps> uh, no, we just got the regular metal parts. Okay, so that was... Eh? Uh, that dropped... A lot of nothing. Oh, you're mine, aren't you? No, you're not mine. Where's my new Bert? Defended me, Bert. There we go. And I oh, we have some more done here. Okay. Well, let's knock out this guy, just in case we do get something from this. Oh, hello. Um. Are you guys even capable of hurting me? Or eating each other? That's pretty funny. Hi, friendo. Newbert is not being terribly useful. And, okay. Well, that got us exactly zero Jonas parts. So, I'm about to call shenanigans on getting Jonas parts from locust nests. But, supposedly, it's possible. Unless you're me. Well, we have a new Bert for now, at least. Or temporary Bert. Let's go, temporary Bert. Is there anywhere else to go in this cave? I don't think so. Oh, hello, friendo. Okay, well, Newbert, if you're coming with me, then great. If not, then whatever. And I think we came down here. Hey, buddy. Newbert is not teleporting to me, which is concerning. 
And yeah, I think I recognize this. Okay, so we did end up in the exact same cave that we were in. That was not... <laughs> I forgot what this place looked like. It's been a couple episodes. Let's keep going out into the wilds here and see what other caves we can come across. Ooh, like this one. Are you a cave? No, not really. Okay. Well, here we go. Once we're out on the plane, hopefully we'll have a better visibility of what kinds of caves we could go looking for trouble in. I do spy something new over here. And yeah, here we go. There's a shaft straight to the bowels of the earth. Let's do it. Well, here we go. Here's an over and a down. I always like doing overs first. And so far as this can be called an over, but whatever. I'll take it. And done. Okay. Down it is. Get our armor on. Ooh. Now here's a spooky one. Yep, there's a big old pop in the air. Yeah, see, I don't like that pop in the air too much. Like, that's just really kind of ridiculous, honestly. Like, do these guys really have that much mass behind their swings? I do declare that temporary Bert is, well, temporary. And has been proven temporary. Some more saltpeter and a dead end. More dead end. More dead end. Well, that's actually it for this, so... I'm taking my toys and going back upstairs. Well, that was a pretty dead cave. I'm going to go ahead and mark it as nothing. And mark it off. And it's time to go find the next empty cave. Hello? Nope. Hel nope. Not here either. Okay. Do I spy with my little celestial eye? Yes, I do. This looks like some fine trouble. Oh my. I did say trouble, didn't I? And man, we have a smorgasbord of choices. <gasps> do I spy? I do believe I do. It's friend time. Friend. Nope. No friend. Ah, there. Okay, that's the big one I was thinking of, I think. Hey, guys. Nope. 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 Okay. I'll get one of you. <laughs> there we go. Got one. Okay. I don't even see any cages here. It's pretty unusual. Ah, oh, there's one. Okay. We're gonna fall on my head, aren't they? Yep. Away you go. I did say I wanted coal, didn't I? Alright, let's try this big, big one. So I think this little guy here isn't going to give us anything. Oh, there's another cage here. Of course there is. Okay. So we still have zero Jonas parts. I thought cages were supposed to be able to give you some, but let's find out. If the big nest does. So little nest gave us something I picked up already. No to this part, once again, okay. The big nest. The big nest gives us... Again, nothing, okay. That's, um... It's annoying. That's quite a shame. I was really hoping we would be able to get some more Dennis parts in, like, at least a reasonable amount of time, but... It seems to not be in the cards. Right, are you gonna come with me or not? You're on wait. Follow. Maybe that's why other Bert didn't come with us. Man, this is a wild cave. All right, torch here. You know what? While we're here, I don't think we have reading for this place yet, do we? Okay, nothing I really care about too much. Oh. Oh, you jerk. You did not just kill my buddy. You did. His life was so short. And he was so bad at following... Ah, so this just goes up there. Okay. We have a end of deadness. And probably another end of deadness. Uh, we got some quartz with some silver. I might take a minute to mine out some of this stuff. Oh my. Well, that goes down to andesite. Okay. 
I might grab some of the silver that is showing up here. What is with this weird, lame lack of arm movement here? Ah, so we do have some gold in here as well. Yes, I'm going to take a bit of a break here. We're going to probably bar ourselves in a little bit here. There does seem to be some kind of crevice up here that things could crawl in at us from. No, not really. Okay. And I'm going to grab us some gold and silver and tuck those away before we move on. Oh, my. Another. Okay. I'll take it, dude. I'll take it. Hey. We did get a donuts part finally. Oh my goodness. What am I dumping for this? That. Whew. Okay. We got one donuts part from one cage thus far. That is a real low percent chance, looks like. Okay, so from what, four or five cages? We have now gotten exactly one donuts part. That is not great odds. That's just not. Great odds right there. Jonas part? Nope, just string. This appears to be the large nest. There we go. And no Jonas parts. Something did flop down there, but it was just dust. Okay, so it does look like while we can certainly get, technically, we can get Jonas parts from these locust nests, it is not great chances. The odds are pretty terrible. Yeah, what's this? That's my torch that I threw in there earlier, isn't it? Yeah, let's go. Let's give it a whirl. <gasps> a translocator again? Wow. <laughs> oh my. Hello, friendo. Uh, now I'm good. I couldn't eat another bite. You're actually getting in my way, dude. That was not very nice. Well, anything interesting in here? Some flax twine. And some gears. And not a whole lot else. There is a ladder up. I will go ahead and we will mark you as a transicator. And I guess we'll just head on down. To a very cinnamony dead end, most likely, looks like. Yep. Poor copper. Not interested. Well, let's make our way down here. What could possibly wait for us down here in the absolute bowels of the earth? Not a whole lot, actually. Okay. All right, let's head back up here. This is where we were noodling around with those locusts earlier. We gained and lost a Bert in the process. So I think we already chased those ends down. Let's go back into our little mine here. And I did get a decent amount of silver. Nothing like huge, I'm not going to work on the whole vein, but it was a reasonable amount. I think we've been kind of over here before, haven't we? I am actually losing track of where I was. Ah, that's why. It all loops around. That's where we can get back up, so let's head down this way. Oh, okay. So we've already been over here as well. Alright. Have we been... Over here? I don't think so. Now we have been. Very nice. There's an up and an over. I'm not sure I want to spend that effort to find another dead end up there. But for completion's sake, we must. Just so we can say we'd looked there. Yep. Dead end. Not worth it, but still checking it off the list. Okay, let's go down over here next. Maybe across this way. Wow. This is, like, really oddly stable, too. Let's see anything worth digging around for in here. Just quartz. Okay. Quartz and copper. No, well, there's our copper. Medium. Very meh. I do see a bright yellow light here. You guys see what I see? There might be a cave on the other side of this. We can maybe dig into and find some more little friendos. Ah, there you go. Ooh, oh, there you are. <laughs> Let's get some friend maker out here. Friend maker, friend maker, make me a friend. 
Oh, there we go. Friends, all of you. Let's see if we can knock that cage out of here first. Okay, no more cages. No more friends coming. I think I spy. One more donut part. Yeah, baby. All right, well, let's drop, say, a torch down here. All right, well, let's get these cages and these nests. Cages first. Just in case, you know. Let's also get that. So we're here for temporal alignment node and a finely balanced oscillator. Okay, no more Jonas parts, but we got one more. It's a start, I guess. The wacky part for me is look how deep we are. We're at 28. And yet, look at our gear. Our gear is not moving at all. So this is one of the rare great places for like a dwarven fortress where you could like dig real deep and not care. <gasps> What's this? Another, another transicator. Oh my goodness. I'm going to mark this off or block this off. Give ourselves a second here. Okay. Well, this is the day of transicators. Not so much the day of Jonas parts. Three candles. This would be a great find if we really need candles. Yeah, I am hearing some more of these guys. Hey, buddy. I'm going to follow you to the source of your friends. Ah, oh, here we go. Got friends up here. Friends in high places. Hey, guys. There we go. Oh, more of you. Don't see any parts, but can't see much amidst this chaos. Uh, no Jonas part. Okay. No more cage. Let's try this guy. <gasps> uh, did we get one? No, I don't think we did. Nope. No part. Okay, well, I've kind of lost track of where we've been in this crazy maze of a cave here. So I think I'm going to pack up here and get back to the surface and maybe even head home because we have been out here for several hours so far. And I think it's about time that we kind of pack it up, take a look at what we've got, and determine how many Jonas parts we're getting per hour so we know what to expect as far as Jonas part acquisition in the future. Now look what I found on the way home. A big field of lupins, and it has a copious number of red lupins, too. We got 18 from that one field. That's kind of unusual. So I wonder if that's a new implementation of 1.19, or if we just got really, really stupid lucky or something. Also, I ran into a bear, and yep, the bears throw you into the air, too, just like all the drifters do. Makes fighting them even in steel armor kind of unpleasant, not gonna lie. All right, everyone, we are back home. And I'm just reminded that we have a chandelier here now. Pretty cool. And let's take a look at our spoils. Now, this is after about... Let me check the time here. This is after about two and a half hours worth of exploration. Let's see what we got. So, in our basket here, we have some rope, some metal scraps. We got a good amount of silver, so not too bad. I would have liked some gold, because we actually are pretty flush with silver already. We could use some gold. And then in our inventory, we got two Jonas parts. We got a temporal alignment node and a subassembly of finely balanced oscillator. This is used for the rift ward, the resonator, and the night vision lens for the goggles. The temporal alignment node is for the terminus teleporter, base return teleporter, and the night vision lens. Okay. So we could be well on our way to having the night vision goggles or the rift ward. We also got, I found one resin, we got a bunch of rusty gears. I think I've had eight more during the first leg of the trip that was notably less successful than the second leg. Some more rope, some coal, some flax twine, and 18 red lupins. That's the real treasure here, folks. In the process, we went through three pieces of pie. Looks like three meals, because I still have one in the bowl here. We went through, let's see, a total of five honey sulfur poultices, assuming we healed ourselves up to full after that. And we went through about 7% of our durability combined. Actually, maybe more like 
combined total of something like 3%, but 7 as the high on our steel. We were at about 5,200 when we started. So that's that. I guess it's sort of like one Jonas part per hour and a quarter of playing, which, honestly, they need to be more plentiful. Tyron, we need more of these things. If we're ever going to be making use of the night vision mask and the teleporters, especially given that we can drop them if we die, we drop them and they fall to the ground and despawn. Imagine spending 14 or 15 hours just getting the parts for the night vision mask and then you die, you drop it, and then it despawns. That, that would just hurt. That would hurt a lot. So I think these need to be more plentiful. Maybe not like handing out like candy, but given that there are like 16 of them and we need very specific ones to build what we want to build, they're just way, way too rare. Anyway, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this adventuresome episode of delving into the caves and hunting for Jonas parts. We will have to go out again, and I think we'll do it pretty soon. So I'll sort of put together what the next episode is going to be like, and then I'll take it from there. If you enjoyed the episode, let me know by leaving a like or a comment below. And I'd love to have you subscribe if that's your thing. As always, I'm Hasbun Kurzar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.